Hello everyone! My name is Hazen Sandoval, you all know me as Flakonadir, and today we will be talking about an invasive species known as the Chinese Mystery Snail. What's so mysterious about it though? Anyway, let's get on with the video! Now, if you're a regular of the channel, you're probably wondering, Flacco, this isn't a comic dub! I am not baby! Yeah, you're right. This is homework. Also, it's due today, so I gotta get it done. Um, however, the rest of you who are watching this must be asking yourself, What the heck is a Chinese mystery snail? Well, let me tell you. The Chinese mystery snail, also known as the black snail or trapdoor snail, is a big freshwater snail with gills and an operculum that belongs to the viviparide family of aquatic gastropod mollusks. The operculum, an oval corneous plate found in most snails in this group, is the source of the name trapdoor snail. It covers the it covers the opening of the shell when the soft parts of the snail are fully retracted, offering some protection against drying out or predation. Here's a fun fact about them. Mr. Snails don't have a siphon, or siphon. I honestly don't know how to pronounce that. They give life birth and only have one set of tentacles, like all aquatic snails. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, Wow, cool snail! Didn't you say it was invasive though? That I did, viewer number 69. It is an invasive species. You see, the species is from East Asia, from the tropics of Indochina and Northern China. Southeast Asia to Japan and Eastern Russia are the native regions. This species can be found all over China, notably the Chinese Loess Plateau. However, in the late 1800s, this species was sold in Chinese food markets in San Francisco. It was collected in Boston in 1914. Between 1931 and 1942, it was most likely thrown out into the Niagara River from an aquarium. As a result, it has become a very problematic species in several regions. Now, we all know invasive species are bad. They're harmful to the environments they go into, they disturb natural communities and ecological processes, and are hazardous to our natural resources. They can also outcompete native species for food and habitat leading to extinction in some cases. This is no different with these snails, obviously. Water intake pipes can be clogged with Chinese mystery snails. They may also infect fish and other wildlife with diseases and parasites. They compete for food with local snails and disrupt aquatic food webs. The best example can be found in Minnesota. This invasive species harms Minnesota's recreational, economic, and ecological resources, causing people and visitors to change how they utilize and enjoy the state's water. They have the potential to perish in vast numbers, polluting beaches and shoreland, and it's capable of transmitting human intestinal flukes, but there have been no cases in the US, only in Asia. It also carries trematode parasites, which are present in native mussels, which are not good. The damage caused by these little buggers can be reduced in several ways. Removing all of the aquatic vegetation and invasive species from the body of water. Remove all drain plugs and keep them out of shipment to drain any water. Of unwanted bait should be discarded into the trash. Dry docks, lifts, swim rafts, and other equipment for at least 21 days before reintroducing it to a new body of water. Despite this though, for the present being, there are no effective methods 
of population control for Chinese mystery snakes. At least in natural bodies of water. Here's another not so fun fact about our invasive species buddies over here. It isn't the only snail to affect these areas. There's also the banded mystery snails, faucet snails, and New Zealand mud snails. And they're not, and they're just as bad. But we're not going to get into them. Maybe in a future video, I don't know. Back to the main stuff. <laughs> Now you probably expect the government to help with this, right? But the truth is, they're no closer to getting this cleared up than we are. As I stated earlier, there's no real uh, effective population control method. However, there are currently guidelines and they made it illegal to dump these snails. So that's helping one way, that way the problem doesn't worsen. But we still have to figure out a permanent solution to this. The best way for someone like you or me to help with this problem is to do any of the methods I talked about earlier. Other than that, there's sadly not much you or I could do. Now, that's all we have for today. I hope I see you all in the next video. Uh, Big Bro Witty 6 coming soon. Okay, bye. Toodle.